Hey, 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 everybody from Intellectual Image. This is Akela back at it again. And here is another sped up um, editing session for me. So the deal with this is I took these pictures this summer. Uh, this is this is my girlfriend. Her name is Imani. Um, she's a model or whatever. She thinks she's a model. Um, she got to prove to me that this is what she do. Um, but that, that's a whole different discussion. But, you know, what we did here was take the photos. Um, I kind of did some posing for her uh, and kind of just made her do what I wanted her to do just because I wanted it to be more than just a regular um, portrait photography shoot. So, what did I shoot with? I shot with my Nikon Z6, and for the most part, I use my 70 to 200 um, Nikon lens. And um, I think I shot with that the whole shoot. And today, I'll be showing you two photos. So, um, with the 70 to 200, I have to stand like really, really, really far away, which isn't a problem at all. Um, it's pretty cool of me, like, but when people are walking by and um, you know walking in front of the camera it takes a little while for them to get out of the frame and out of the shot but I love this 70 to 200 so so much like look how unclear the background is the bokeh um, it doesn't really have the round bokeh like maybe a 50 millimeter lens may have but it's just spectacular like her skin is beautiful her eyes are sharp her hair is pretty pretty uh sharp and the background is just gone like i love that so much this day what was the weather like it was so windy it was very windy and like every five or so minutes the sun would come out of the clouds. So I like when the clouds are there because it kind of um, softens the face, it softens everything, the shadows, it's not harsh or anything like that. But as soon as the sun came out, it was kind of difficult for me to get the, the correct shots that I really, really, really wanted to get. But um, it turned out well, like I did the thing, I did what I had to do. As you can see right here, I'm trying to like uh, decrease a little bit of discoloration under her eyes. Um, <clears throat> what I do with that is I pretty much just paint it. Like I, I find the right color painted, lower the opacity, um, stuff like that. And uh, this this video kind of going a little slow, but I, I think I'm gonna leave it how it is pretty much and just kind of talk the way through. As you can see there, it kind of changed. Um, I just made it a little bit brighter and kind of make it more even, even with the skin tone. I love shooting with this 70 to 200 though because it's amazing. Like you cannot tell where we are. Um, we were in Shortwood and we were just walking around. We had lunch together and I'm like, you want to, you know, go take some pictures? So she's like, okay, cool. We go take some pictures and, um. You know, it was a it was a good day for it, and the location I just couldn't I didn't like the location very much. Um, it really wasn't anything to see. So the 70 to 200 really make sure that you like don't really know what's going on behind you, um, behind the subject, and it just it just looks good. It just looks good. I like it a lot. Um, and. What else I wanted to talk about? Uh, all right. Like I said before, Imani is a model, and you could check some of these pictures out on her Instagram at uh, Ortizis, I believe. Let me go check it. I believe that's it. Yeah, on Instagram, Instagram Ortizis. O R T I Z U S. 
So I'm ready to get on to the next picture for y'all. And this is pretty much the final, final product. And it's going back to um, Lightroom here where I edited that blue a little bit to make it just look a little bit more dramatic and a little, little bit more different than usual. I pretty much, uh, I didn't show y'all the other edits, but I pretty much did what I had to do. So I didn't like this green thing, this green right here on the, the right hand side of the tree or whatever. So I tried to stretch it out. I ain't doing too good. It didn't uh, turn out well, so I don't, I don't even know if I kept that. And if y'all haven't been here before, I do want to let y'all know that y'all can feel free to subscribe because I'll be doing more stuff like that. I'll be uh, giving some tutorials, uh, showing more of my work and showing more of my edits and things that I do uh, that can you know, help you in, in your practice and help you in your business. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, Oh, this is um, kind of like the same spot where we just shot that last one. And I just made her get up against the brick. Um, a lot of times I direct her to to do the certain poses, even though it may feel weird to her. Um, I make her do those things because uh, it just kind of looks aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, but. At the end of the day, it usually always works out. I am able to find, you know, those three Instagram pictures or three or four or five that will work for them. And I guess I could talk a little bit about that too. When I have clients, they choose the pictures that they want. I used to choose the pictures that I liked the most, but I found out that they didn't like the pictures that I liked. But before I even started to do that, I would go through and edit like a bunch of pictures that I like. And then I would just send them all and they would go and post the pictures I didn't edit at all. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, you're, you're ruining everything, dude. Like, I did not like that at all. Um, but I finally made a decision to just let the people pick let them choose what they like the most and work with that pretty much and that's been going pretty well uh, so here I'm doing a little bit of the Gaussian blur for the skin kind of just uh, evening the tones under the frequency separation um, it's like her cheek is a little little red a little blushed which is I don't know I guess it's normal but you know when you want to have a, a image that looks good you don't really need that and another thing like with this editing style like I want to only do shoots and only make edits for something that could really go in a magazine like I want I want things to be beautiful like I want people to see this and be like wow like this person is beautiful or like wow this person really took the time to plan not even really plan the photo shoot but like at least edit to know a professional level um, another thing that I did in this video I think that you will see later I get that hair off her her forehead um, but yeah 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 let me see if I got any more questions to answers uh, also I already told you what I shot with and if you wanted to know that that stuff is in the description box I do want to make it this a discussion what are, what do you guys want to see what do you guys want to learn or hear from me um, please let me know. I am um, really looking to build a community and help people wherever I can. So if you want to see more photos, my Instagram is in the description as well, as long, along with my personal Instagram. And um, this video is pretty much wrapping up. Also, I want y'all to comment down below. And let me know that y'all watched it to the end. Say I watched it to the end. But no, y'all don't even have to say that. Just let me know if y'all like me talking over over the editing or not. Or would you just rather have like a, a instrumental beat just playing. Just let me know. Because I'm down for whatever. Uh, obviously, 
recording this takes a little bit more time out of my day but you know it doesn't matter um i want you guys to hear my voice and hear what i'm doing so lastly i do want to let you guys know that um i'm going to be expanding this this page for uh you know for me and for my dad i believe um it's kind of intellectual image will be about photography and about graphic designing and graphic art um, I'm going to be collaborating with my dad I hope he's uh, down for that but he does really amazing graphics on his iPad and I'm going to start sharing that and um, kind of probably coaching him through uh, making tutorials and doing the whole video thing for YouTube but I think you know it's gonna take some time for him to get used to it but I really want to uh, make this channel grow we're at the moment of this recording we're at 44 subscribers so I'm hoping that we can you know push out some more content um, hopefully have over 100 videos by the end of next year December maybe 150 but we will definitely see so just got done with this picture here is the final product for both pictures um, these pictures can be seen on my Instagram so please check that out it can be seen on Imani's Instagram as well if you haven't already put a thumbs up on this video and subscribe I'll be back with more videos soon so I hope to see you there all right have a good day